Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. I've already had Trevor steal a laser a while back, and in order to try and repeat the success, I did the same thing for Michael. Now it is Franklin's turn, and the way I'm doing this is Halo jumping in and trying to get the character as close to the laser as possible and skedaddle with the laser as quickly as possible. You got to do this and try this several times, multiple times, can be very frustrating, but when everything works out, you can steal a laser. And yeah, okay, the tank isn't coming, that's cool, it's trying to turn around. So let's get Franklin out of here and get his laser. Franklin took a hit, but the aircraft is still flyable. This is where you will want to put a save in. If you do it immediately upon exiting the base, you're actually going to end up not being able to reload and have the aircraft be functioning. I found this out already when I did with Franklin. As soon as he exited the base, he took a few hits. I saved out. And then all of a sudden the aircraft plunged into water and I was reloading and it turned out I didn't get to keep the aircraft. Now, like I said, if you get the aircraft out of Fort Zancudo and out over water, that is the time to do a save. You are far enough from the base to where if you have to reload, the aircraft will still be flyable. And I'm trying to fly it to the airport and yes I'm resaving again because now I know for sure that I will be able to reload and I'm trying to get this to the airport in the condition it's in but I'm probably not going to be successful The aircraft is too badly damaged to have any real control over it, so I'm just going to ditch it in the water. I probably could just reload anyway, but boom, putting it in the water, a little more fun. Now I'm going to reload the game, and the aircraft should be in perfect condition to where Franklin can land it at the airport. And I'm just letting the load screen here go by. We should get the aircraft, yep, in perfect condition. Now Franklin can bring it in for a landing. Because the aircraft is far more maneuverable than it was, I'm going to circle around and bleed off some altitude and then bring this fighter in for a landing and now Franklin, Trevor, and Michael all have a laser. It's far more difficult than the Xbox 360 version to steal an aircraft from Fort Zancudo, but it is doable and I've repeated it three times with each character. You just have to go through and try and get things in line correctly. And when it works out, it works out extremely well. And you have a laser fighter jet to fly around and enjoy.
now the fighter jet should be part of Franklin's, um, how shall I say, collection of airplanes. He stole that passenger jet, which was, or private jet, which is parked at the airport anyway. But I'm going to save here. Hopefully, again, I, I've gone back with both Michael and Franklin and Trevor, and the fighter jet is in the hangar. I'm going to move it around a little bit, but I digress. This is the way to do it. You have to halo in, grab the fighter, and hope things work out. I'm going to include some of the failures at the end of this. I thank you for sticking around this far. It helps with the bots and all the stuff in YouTube that shows I'm producing content people like to watch. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button, you know, thumbs up icon, feel free to leave a comment. Um, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week involving video games, including a short on Wednesday, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.